The Vulcan V30 is one of the most popular medium-duty towing and recovery units ever built. Due to over 10 years of proven reliability and versatility, the recovery boom and underlift are both constructed of high tensile steel using four-plate construction to achieve maximum strength with minimum weight. The recovery boom is rated at 32,000 pounds when retracted and 12,000 pounds when fully extended. When raised to its maximum lift angle of 36 degrees, the V30 has an impressive hook height of 160 inches. For those tough recoveries, the V30 is equipped with dual 15,000 pound planetary gear winches, each with 150 feet of half-inch IWRC wire rope. Air clutch releases and cable tensioners are standard. Manually extendable rear jack feet are available to provide increased stability during side pulls and feature flip-down spades for better grip on soft surfaces. The rear tailboard features heavy-duty cast D-rings, built-in pockets with safety chains and air and electrical plug-ins for easy access. The low-profile underlift on the V30 provides a maximum reach of 84 inches to the center of the lift forks, along with 20 degrees of positive tilt and 10 degrees of negative tilt. When using the lift forks, the underlift is rated for 12,000 pounds retracted and 8,500 pounds extended with a tow capacity of 32,000 pounds. For light duty towing, your V30 comes standard with two pair of Vulcan's popular strapless wheel retainers, one 4,000 pound pair for passenger cars and another 6,500 pound pair for light trucks. To provide easy access and storage for your towing and recovery equipment, your Vulcan is available with a 136-inch CA aluminum modular body, as shown. A 120-inch CA body is also available. Both provide a pass-through tunnel on the front boxes. For easy access, there are even tube holders to store brooms and shovels, along with storage for your lifting forks. Other boxes include storage for air hoses, chain racks, adjustable shelves and storage brackets for additional equipment, such as your combination pintle hook, fifth wheel attachment, and your wheel retainer. Other options include a four-drawer toolbox for your hand tools and snatch block holders. The rear compartment on both sides houses manual controls for your boom and underlift, along with passenger side lanyard control for the underlift. An optional wireless remote is also available. To keep your equipment secure, the heavy-duty chrome latches on your tool compartments can be locked and unlocked with one click of a button on your keyless remote. To find your equipment on dark nights, all the tool compartments have LED lighting. Your V30 comes standard with LED body lights, and Vulcan offers a wide range of emergency and work area lighting to fit your specific needs. Some of the most popular include LED light bars, LED side lights, work and underlift lights, as well as door flashing warning lights. Vulcan. Brutally tough. Visit your local Vulcan distributor to learn more about the V30 or the complete line of towing and recovery equipment from the industry leader. Miller Industries, providing innovation in integrated towing and recovery equipment that meets the demands of professional operators worldwide. Welcome to Miller Industries, the world's largest manufacturer of towing and recovery equipment. From small wreckers to carrier decks to heavy-duty rotators, Miller Industries does it all. It's the heavy-duty units, however, that are the most visible and some would argue the most popular. They're built in what Miller calls the Large Business Unit, or LBU. Hi, I'm John Hawkins and I want to welcome you to the world's largest manufacturer of towing and recovery equipment. Today we're going to take you through some 300,000 square feet a manufacturing facility in which we manufacture not only the medium duty, but the large wreckers here in Chattanooga. The facility measures 300,000 square feet and is devoted just to LBU. At Miller Industries, quality is paramount. The company even has an ISO rating of 9001 to prove it. This means that Miller Industries recognizes its responsibility as a designer and manufacturer and constantly strives to improve quality in all areas. This high level of quality is extremely apparent in LBU. The division has multiple departments and each one plays a critical role. First up, purchasing. They coordinate with the vendors who supply the components that Miller doesn't build, such as valves or winches. These components are stored in Miller's 40,000 square foot warehouse. In production control, they make sure that the in-house welded components and the purchased parts flow through the plant at the proper time. Then there's weld, which marks the beginning of the manufacturing process. 
First, a weld kit is delivered to one of 60 weld stations. These kits include all the metal pieces necessary to weld a component, from a boom to a subframe. Today, Miller employs a staff of over 15 structural engineers. What you're seeing here are the individual pieces of certain PSI content and design to put the optimum amount of strength, but leaving the weight out of the unit. Everything in the kits is designed by one of Miller's structural engineers. They design components that can take the optimum amount of strain without compromising the overall weight of the unit. So this is a uh, strain gauge test we're running today. Basically all that happens is we start pulling the truck against this immovable object. As the boom comes down, it loads up this leg. You're able to see this leg start to bow out this way as the steel flexes. We're going to take data from these strain gauges and measure the stress at various points on the boom. The welders take these parts and put them in fixtures, or jigs, to ensure a uniform fit. Then, after the components are tacked up, they're removed for finished welding by a certified welder or one of the robotic welders. The LBU has two robots to help streamline the weld process. They operate non-stop and provide high quality welds with consistent heat penetration throughout. You can see where the robot is taking that long weld, placing that weld onto the weldment support, coming in here, taking your bosses, laying it into the chamfer bosses, and you can see where the robot is yet to run here in the tacked up position. The next step is metal finish. Here, welded parts are suspended from an overhead crane that supports up to 6,000 pounds and are moved through the media blast and then into the paint booth. The media blast removes any rust oils or imperfections in the metal so the paint will adhere better. In the paint booth, an epoxy primer is applied to the inside and outside of each welded component. These procedures are designed to help the parts hold up in a rugged outdoor environment. Assembly comes next. This is where painted, welded components are mated with vendor-supplied pieces. This is where the unit starts to come to life. At Miller Industries, the Century and Vulcan units roll down the same assembly line. Each has its own character, its own design factors, but the men who assemble the Century products also install Vulcan, and Miller quality is in every brand. The next order of business is toolbox wiring and packout. Here, the completed center section takes its first real step toward becoming your recovery unit. Aluminum toolboxes are custom made with lighting packages and other options. They also get a one-piece modular wire harness with a five-year warranty. Although Miller does ship units, the vast majority of heavy-duty records are installed at the Chattanooga, Tennessee facility. Installers with as much as 30 years experience prep the cab and chassis first. Then, the center section is mounted, tool compartments are temporarily installed, and it's sent to a local paint shop. Once completed, the unit returns to Miller for final dress-out, which includes installing additional lights and accessories. Buying a large wrecker is a significant investment. That's why Miller insists that every heavy-duty unit is inspected and re-inspected throughout the manufacturing process. They want your heavy-duty record to leave the factory exactly the way you ordered it. This is a process that has been and continues to be fine-tuned. Miller Industries is not just building a unit. They're creating a custom machine for you that has character, personality, and soul. And this is what sets Miller Industries apart from the competition. Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment.
the recent months, we've looked at many towing companies and have even shown specific products that make them great. But when you're talking about towing and recovery equipment, you always end up in one place. And that's where more of the industry goes than anywhere else because of their amazing selection, service, and dependability. We're talking about Miller Industries. It's no coincidence that Miller Industries is located in Chattanooga. Chattanooga is the birthplace of the manufacturing of towing equipment and the home of the International Towing and Recovery Hall of Fame and Museum. It's also home to the largest manufacturer of towing and recovery equipment in the world, with products in over 50 countries. Miller Industries is the largest manufacturer of towing and recovery equipment in the world. Miller is comprised of nine brand names, including Century, Vulcan, and Chevron. And we also manufacture and market under the Holmes brand name, which is the world's oldest manufacturer of towing and recovery equipment, uh, founded right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee in 1917. Here at Miller Industries, we pride ourselves on having the best people, the best product, and the best distribution network in the towing and recovery industry. A variety of products that cater to a variety of needs. And with a history of innovation, you wouldn't expect Miller Industries to rest on their laurels. They continue to set the bar high in all aspects of their industry. All wreckers with the self-loaders, the new battery uh, vehicle that we're offering for the AAA uh, contractors, our car carriers with the LCG, medium duty wreckers, the large wrecker group with both conventional fixed boom and integrated, and of course right behind you what you see at the top of the line with our rotator line. We're constantly in the field working with our customers. We're looking for the new ideas that makes their job a little bit easier. We're also looking for those tools that makes that piece of equipment work with a lot more function and features and benefits to it also. Innovations in the future that we're looking at is probably a new car carrier uh, line. We're looking at always the means of being able to get the vehicle picked up quicker in the small wreckers. And large wreckers is weight. Weight is always a key thing that we deal with. And we can take that from our 25 ton unit all the way up to the current 75 ton model. We always look at innovation and how we can build strength and integrity and leave the weight off the machine in its design. So when you're looking for trust, dependability, and think Miller Industries, the world's greatest.
For a medium-duty integrated towing and recovery unit packed with versatility, check out the Vulcan V24. The V24 is equipped with hydraulic multi-position rear spades, dual 12,000 pound planetary winches, and a recovery boom rated at 12 tons retracted and 5 tons fully extended, with a maximum hook height of 147 inches and a maximum reach past the tailboard of 72 inches at minimum elevation.
Imagine a recovery boom that travels back and forth under heavy loads. Now imagine this same roller system can self-clean and requires minimal grease or lubrication. No need to use your imagination. Miller Industries has spent three years developing a new 50-ton rotator that does just that. The 1150R is the first heavy-duty wrecker boom to be equipped with a 75 metric ton stainless steel quad roller system that requires minimal grease or lubrication. This system was tested under a variety of climate conditions, from extreme heat to the bitter cold. Even severe ice doesn't stop the 1150R from operating with heavy loads. Miller Industries continues to develop recovery equipment that makes your job easier, safer, and more efficient. These innovations keep Miller Industries at the forefront of the industry. The 1150R also comes with the new Raptor Remote Control System with cutting-edge technology, putting all the boom and winch functions at your fingertips with joystick controls. Another feature that makes the Century 1150R unique is the independent recovery boom and underlift. The recovery boom capacity is an impressive 100,000 pounds when retracted and extends up to 248 inches with a capacity of 22,000 pounds. The 1150R, like the Century 1060 and 1075, has 360 degrees of continuous boom rotation and a maximum hook height soaring to 495 inches 
at its maximum boom angle of 66 degrees. Main winches are rated at 50,000 pounds with 3 quarter inch by 250 feet of IWRC wire rope and is also available with optional dual 22,000 pound turret mounted winches. You have two options for rear outriggers. Option 1, H-beam outriggers in front and rear with a 262 inch stance along with the HHU underlift. Option 2, four stage rear outriggers paired with the front H-beam outriggers and the SDU-4 underlift. An optional 50,000 pound drag which is also available with the four stage rear outriggers. For more information on the new Century 1150R, roll on over to your local Century distributor. Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. Introducing the Century 9055, the best-selling 50-ton wrecker on the market today. Equipped with an optional three-stage boom, there is 18 feet of boom extension. Century's innovative engineering allows the second and third stage of the recovery boom to extend and retract together, even under a load, something that not many in the industry can accomplish. The 9055 comes standard with dual two-speed planetary gear winches. They are equipped with two wire ropes, three-quarter inch by 250 foot. Diagonal rear jack legs with multi-position flipper feet are standard, and the 9055 is also available with optional hydraulic extendable rear outriggers that offer a flip-down spade along with a low-pull D-ring. The 9055 and All Century Heavy Duty Integrated now feature a spring-loaded cable tie back system with bump stops for the underlift. They are also equipped with 14 feet of grade 100 safety chains. Take a look at the optional roller guide. The optional coach lowrider underlift is 3 inches lower than the standard underlift and has an amazing 160 inches of reach, rated at 55,000 pounds. It is built to carry some of the heaviest loads on the road. Offset low profile fork receivers, nine sets of lift forks, spring lifters, and hook in caps are all standard on the Century 9055. The receivers can be used in different positions to allow for low or high clearance situations depending on the need. An optional pinto hook attachment is also available that can accommodate the optional fifth wheel adapter plate. Storage for these attachments has all been incorporated in the body design of the 9055. The 9055 is also equipped with a 14 function wireless remote that controls all underlift, boom, and winch functions. It charges in a docking station located in the cab and has a magnetic backing. The all aluminum toolbox is designed to accommodate all the attachments and tools that are required to get the job done. Electric power door locks are standard and an optional flashing warning door lamp kit is also available. A pass through tunnel box located in the front compartment is also available and can accommodate the storage of long handled tools, shovels or brooms. The state-of-the-art touchscreen controls, known as the MMO system, are located at the driver's side control station and in the cab. They feature a home screen that gives you one-touch access to the switch panel as well as the truck and engine information. The newest addition to the 9055 lighting options are the LED side lamps. They operate as a marker light, marker flasher, and also as an LED flood. For more information on the Century 9055, please contact your local Century distributor to make this the newest addition to your fleet or head on over to MillerIND.com. Miller Industries, the world's largest manufacturer of towing and recovery equipment.
Century 1150R has no trouble picking up and rotating this 36,000 pound trash truck. With the patented roller system, the 1150R can even start and stop under heavy loads and requires minimal lubrication. The 1150R comes standard with the Raptor system that provides you with joystick controllers and load sensing information on your remote. The 1150R is also available with a 50,000 pound drag winch with four stage rear outriggers or with dual H-beam outriggers. Did you know that Century is the number one selling brand of rotators worldwide? With the growing number of new automobiles on the road today, with lower balances and air dams to improve fuel mileage, the need for lower load angle on car carriers has become critical. The Century and Vulcan LCG carriers and 10 Series Gen 2 carriers have lowered the deck height for a lower load angle. But, for exceptionally difficult vehicles, many towers are choosing the SST, the solid slope tail section. The SST provides a fixed angle rear deck section that lowers the load angle an additional 3.5 degrees. The SST is available in both aluminum and steel for 10 series Gen 2 and 12 series LCG carriers and is also available on 16 series LCG steel carriers. On steel decks, the SST must be ordered with the removable blade rail option. For aluminum decks, the SST requires solid raised rails. Another popular option for loading many new vehicles is the planetary slidewinder winch. This allows the operator to adjust the sliding pulley assembly to multiple positions by releasing the cam lock as to maintain a straight pull line on vehicles with screw-in tow eyes. The Slidewinder package also includes an upgrade to a planetary winch in lieu of the worm gear winch. The planetary winch is side-mounted on the deck and provides easy access to the winch clutch release. Today, we're going to do a quick walk around on the poly-built body available on the Vulcan V70 and V100. Shown here is the Vulcan V70 with the optional third winch. The polyvolt body is extremely rugged and durable. Having operated in both extreme heat and cold for 10 years in towing and recovery application, as well as having extensive use in fire and rescue bodies. The polyvolt body is equipped with roll-up doors that can be left in their brushed aluminum finish or painted to match the body as shown here. The doors also feature remote locks to easily secure your equipment. The roll-up doors provide for a safe environment allowing the operator to avoid stepping out into traffic around a traditional door. The passenger side front box provides built-in storage for your lifting forks, end caps, and receivers. LED lighting and a durable white interior allows excellent visibility. The standard front tunnel box offers ample storage for additional equipment and cribbing. The compartments are easy to clean with the sweep-out floor design. Your next spacious compartment features a large chain rack to ensure organization and accessibility to your recovery and hookup chains. Removable floor trays help keep your hanging chains separated. We know that not every tower's equipment requirements are identical, but abundant storage is a universal necessity. Vulcan provides flexible design options for you to customize the compartments for your tools, additional forks, and snatch blocks with built-in storage solutions. Your rearmost compartment houses your passenger side manual control station. Now, let's move around and take a look at the driver side compartments. On this particular unit, the operator has chosen to mount his fifth wheel plate, pintle hook attachment, and kingpin plate in the front compartment. This compartment has been equipped with the heavy duty tire lift using the fold down storage brackets for easy access. And, as on the passenger side, in the next three compartments, we've left room for the operator to equip for his specific needs. The last compartment houses your control station. The body shown is a 200-inch cab-to-buggy triaxle configuration. Compartments will vary with different body lengths. Increase in the number of three-stage hydraulic booms and rotators, spreader bars have become a must-have for the towing industry. Although there are many on the market and some operators have even built their own, Miller engineers set out to design a spreader bar that specifically meets the needs of our industry for capacity and ease of use. Safety being the number one objective, the bars are manufactured and individually tested and serialized to meet ASME standards. The bar easily breaks down into five pieces with a total assembled weight of a mere 108 pounds, making it easy to assemble and store on your recovery unit. With an impressive lifting capacity of up to 20 tons, the main tubes are made of an extremely strong but lightweight alloy tubing and can mount in a number of locations on your unit depending on your needs. The wishbone end caps and cleavers store easily in one of your compartments. With two pins, your bar is now assembled and ready for rigging. 
Now we're going to go over the proper way to rig the bar and show the endless loop and shackle kits designed for use with the Miller spreader bar that are available from your Miller distributor. First, be sure to have the correct side of the cleaver to the top. It's the longer arm and should angle inward towards the center of the tube to form your top triangle. Attach a strap to each cleaver using a screw pin shackle with the round side towards the endless loop and the pin through the cleaver. Attach the two legs together using another screw pin shackle. Once again, round part of shackle to the endless loop and attach your hook to the top center shackle. Never hook your winch lines directly to the spreader bar. Depending on the load, choose the proper length endless loop to the cleaver once again using a screw pin shackle with the loop side to the endless loop. Use another screw pin shackle on the bottom leg. Actual attachment to the load will depend on the lift. Your spreader bar can be adjusted to 100, 105, or 110 inch lengths by easily moving the bolt on the cleaver and changing to a different hole on the wishbone. For narrower loads such as generators, there is a short spreader bar tube that allows for 58, 63, or 68 inch lengths. I've slide bed. With the present economic environment along with the shortage of drivers, many companies have explored for an alternative to handle their small car and motorcycle transport. Many of these operators have found their solution with the Boniface T35 slide bed. Mounted on a 3.5 ton chassis cab, the T35 is extremely maneuverable in tight narrow conditions and provides a cost effective and economical way to haul many of your light transports and accident damage vehicles. The Boniface T35 requires no tachograph or O license, making it ideal for new drivers to acquire their skills and confidence as they move up and also be used for transporting roadworthy vehicles and other types of goods. Just because you are purchasing a lighter unit, Boniface felt there was no need you should have to sacrifice the quality and features you have come to expect in your other equipment. This proven unit that has been around for almost 20 years has evolved with every detail and feature falling under the watchful eyes of Boniface's in-house engineering and design staff. From there, skilled craftsmen and welders fabricate, assemble, and install the units onto a chassis cab at their Thetford location. The conversion retains the vehicle's original OEM axles and running gear to ensure parts and service are available from your local dealer. Airbags are installed over the rear axle as spring assistors. The final step is a complete testing and certification process to be sure it meets their exacting company standards and yours. With the T35 there is no need for hard work or potential damage caused by having to use ramps. With the push of a button from the full function radio remote, the durable but lightweight aluminum bed tilts and rolls to provide for easy loading. The shovel tail feature of the rear deck provides for an even lower approach angle for additional clearance when loading those difficult cars. The industrial 2.25 ton electric winch is controlled using the four function radio remote, allowing the operator to watch and control the loading from a safe position. After the vehicle is loaded, the operator can easily secure their load with the standard soft eye straps and ratchets, utilizing the eight lashing rings mounted on the bed, a warning moat in its dock. The T-35's rugged 4.6 meter by 2.05 meter deck is constructed using specially designed interlocking aluminum extrusions that are welded securely together along with the narrow profile side raves that maximize your usable inside bed width. Rollers mounted under the bed provide for smooth operation and help prevent damage to driveways. The aluminum deck and galvanized frame ensures a long life without rust and corrosion or the need to repaint. The slide bed is operated by a 3-valve 12-volt power pack with a 4-liter hydraulic oil tank. For visibility, three LED marker lights with long life and low amp draw are fitted into the bed raves on each side and a beacon is fitted to the cab roof. A pair of deck-mounted work lights provide for easy nighttime visibility. A plastic locker is standard on the passenger side along with easy access from presser to easily adjust the rear air spring assisters from inside the cab. Like the complete line of towing, recovery, and transport products, the T35 slide bed experience doesn't end with your purchase. Boniface Engineering was founded in 1982 and prides itself on having built a reputation for not only supplying the finest, most innovative, and quality equipment in the industry, 
backed by top-notch service and parts availability after the sale. Boniface holds ISO 9001 and 14001 certifications and works to continually meet and exceed their customers' expectations. You can contact one of the Boniface team 